Welcome back to Askewed Reviews, and we are continuing the Fast and Furious franchise because around this time of year, it's all about family. So today's movie is the 2011 film Fast Five. Here is your trivia question for today. If you are paying attention, they reveal Han's full name in this film. What is it? The answer will be at the end of this episode. So this film starts off right where we left off with the last one with Dom heading on his way to prison. But of course, Brian, Mia, Leo, and Santos aren't about to let that happen, so they all pull a heist on the prison bus to free Dom. We then jump ahead two years later after the events of the fourth film. Brian, Dom, and Mia are all on the run at this point. The three of them end up getting together with their old friend Vince, who was in the first film. Vince offers them a place to stay and the ability to make some money. Our main characters and Vince are hired to work with another crew to steal some cars from a moving train. Zizi, the leader of this other crew, ends up betraying the rest of them when Mia tries to drive off with the car that they were after. During that betrayal, a couple of DEA agents are shot and killed. Once Dom, Brian, and Mia all get back to their hideout, they try to figure out why in the world there was such a hassle over the car. They then discover that within that car is a chip, and on that chip, houses some information about finances and all sorts of secrets for the person who actually was running this mission, Hernan Reyes. Reyes, who is now quite angry about having his chip stolen, has gotten the information out that it was actually Dom, Brian, and Mia who killed those DEA agents. So now not only is Reyes and his men after them, but also DSS agent Luke Hobbs and Officer Elena Neves. So Dom, Brian, and Mia realize the only way out of this is to reassemble the gang and to steal everything that Reyes has. So will our crew be able to pull this heist off? Or will Reyes and his men, or Hobbs and his group, be able to stop them? So for the third time in a row, Justin Lin directs another Fast and the Furious film. Lin also managed to slip his own son in as a cameo. He's the small child that's watching as the safe is being pulled down the road. This movie was actually released on the 10th anniversary of the first film. So the movie actually takes place in Rio de Janeiro, but it was filmed in Puerto Rico, and that's mainly due to an $11 million tax incentive. Dwayne Johnson is brought into the Fast and the Furious series as Luke Hobbs, and in my opinion, I think he did a great job, but it's interesting to see that he brought a lot to the character, as originally they were going to have Tommy Lee Jones play the character, which I feel would have been very different, and possibly... They may have been trying to treat the character more like Mr. Nobody, played by Kurt Russell, who appears a couple of movies later. Elsa Pataki had to undergo tactical training with police and military for her role as Elena. Tyrese Gibson, who plays Roman in this movie, was very busy during the filming, as he was also in the movie Transformers Dark of the Moon. He actually had to keep flying back and forth between Puerto Rico and Atlanta, Georgia. Matt Schultz, who plays the character of Vince, has not shown up since the first film. But you will notice there is a reference to the first movie as he actually still has the scars on his arms that he got from that last heist. Eva Mendez reprises her role of Monica Fuentes from Too Fast, Too Furious. She appears in the end credit scene. Also, speaking of the end credit scene, Michelle Rodriguez actually had no idea that that picture of Letty was going to show up until she saw the scene herself while she was watching the movie in theaters. Han once again mentions in this film that he wants to go to Tokyo. This is, of course, once again just getting us closer and closer to Tokyo Drift. When the safe vault is opened by Hobbs, if you look very carefully, you can see the German manufacturer's name. Now, if you translate that, it actually comes out as Reliable Safe Incorporated. So the reason why only one of the police car's lights turn on when the gang is driving off with the vehicles is because all of those were actually prototypes and not all of them were working. They actually kept that in the film, though, as they felt it was very appropriate that only Roman would turn his lights on. The big brawl scene between Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel took over a week to film. The stunt with the flatbed slamming into the side of the train was a practical effect. In fact, it almost caused the train to derail. So Ludacris is actually a co-owner of a specific alcohol and it's called Conjure Cognac. And if you look carefully, it actually appears on a table when Tej, Roman, and Han are discussing plans. So now it's time for the family counter. In this film, the word family is used four times, once by Vince, 
once by Mia, and twice by Dom. So when it comes to the film Fast Five, I really enjoyed this one. I thought this is when the movies really started to catch their stride a lot more, even though this is also where things started to really go off the rails. I mean, come on, they're dragging a safe through a city. But that's almost what made these movies better, is when they went crazy. So I think I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. Now it's time for the trivia question from the beginning of this episode. If you are paying attention, they reveal Han's full name in this film. What is it? His full name is apparently Han Sol O, or Han Solo. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Askewed Reviews, and if there's a movie you'd like to see get a review, just mention it in the comments.